What is going on guys, this is Gnosis, and for the first video of Season 6, I'm starting a brand new series where we break down every possible drop spot in Season 6, starting with the junkyard near Dirty Docks that is currently the most broken drop spot in the entire game. In this series, we'll be taking an in-depth look at where every chest is, the fastest way to upgrade your weapons, and so much more. If this is a series you guys are interested in, I'm incredibly down to do another drop spot every single week, so just let me know by dropping a like on this video, and if this gets just 30 likes this first week, then I'll come back first thing next week with another drop spot. Now let's get into it. So why is this drop spot so broken right now? Well for those who haven't seen yet, Fortnite has added a new crafting system to the game that lets you upgrade your weapons by using mechanical parts that you can find around the map. These upgrades let you consistently get a blue or purple AR, shotgun, or SMG in every single game that you play if you can get enough parts, and this tiny drop spot right here currently has up to 19 mechanical parts to collect from farming these piles of cars, meaning that literally every single game you play, you can leave your drop spot with a fully rare or epic loadout as long as you find the makeshift weapons to upgrade. But if you don't find the weapons to upgrade here at the drop spot, you will still have the parts to upgrade any weapons you find for the rest of the game. Like, it's unreal just how OP that is. This completely takes the RNG aspect out of the game and gives you the loadout you need to win every fight in every single game you play. Like, it's just mind blowing that this is a thing right now. But of course, I do expect word to get out fast about this spot, so what we need to do is make sure we always have the fastest landing every single time and that we know exactly where all of the loot is. So I'm about to share a secret with you guys that always guarantee that you're the first one to land here, but first let's look at where all the loot is located. There are going to be three possible chest spawns here, which are on top of the pile of cars in the southeast corner, in the doghouse by the north entrance, and on the second story of the building. Now remember that chests do not spawn 100% of the time now, so going straight for a chest will always be risky if you cannot see from the air if it's there or not. Aside from these chests, we also have 9 possible floor loot spawns, meaning that there will certainly be loot for you to land on. 5 of those spawns are here by the building, with one in the garage, one to the left of the building, another to the right of the building, on the roof, and then inside the second story right in front of the chest. The other four ground loot spawns are spread out here near the back of the junkyard just around these pile of cars. So now that we know where the loot is, let's talk about how to have the fastest landing possible. To do this, we're going to use the website landingtutorial.com, also known as the Copilot app. I've went over how to use this tool super in depth in another video that you can watch by clicking the pop up right now on the top right of this video, but to recap, what we're doing is just dropping a pin on our drop spot and then drawing our bus route from the current game. Now this tool hasn't been updated yet for the new season, but I did talk to the owner just this morning and he's expecting the update to go out any day now, so don't worry, you will be able to use this ASAP. This tool will tell us the exact spot to jump out of the bus along with the exact spot to let our glider deploy. In a drop spot that is really small and doesn't have a ton of loot like the junkyard here, being able to be the very first to land on a gun is going to win you this spot more times than not, and using this tool will ensure that our feet touch the ground before our opponents every single game. Once you have successfully eliminated any enemies, grabbed the loot, and collected the metal parts, the only thing left to do is flush out our loadout with anything missing, whether that be weapon, shield, or even both. So looking at the website fortnite.gg, we can see exactly where all the loot is in this entire area of the map. My suggestion for a loot path would be to start with the bridge here as there are three chest spawns and there is a very little chance that somebody landed there. From here you can head straight over to the gas station to check on that chest along with the one right down here by the river. I would wrap it up by just crossing this other bridge to check on those two chests along with the staggering 13 possible floor loot spawns that are here. Another option you have when rotating out of the junkyard is to come back to this telephone tower that has three chest spawns on top of it, but that can be hit or miss as I see a decent amount of people landing here now, especially in tournaments and in arena. Alright guys, there you have it, my first drop spot breakdown of Season 6 and it is absolutely the most broken spot in the game right now. Now like I said in the intro, if this video gets just 30 likes, I will come back next week with another drop spot video. And I'm going to leave which drop spot I cover next to you guys. Simply leave a comment under this video with the drop spot you want me to go over, and whichever has the most likes by next week is what I will go over next. Also, I'm now hosting games with my community every single Saturday, so swing by my Discord if you want to join us. I'll leave a link in the description of that, and until next time, keep on grinding.
Thank you.